Been a lot of rain this winter and now though we are looking at our first decent stretch of dry weather since last year. A relief for families who've been dealing with flooding and high water. Let's take a live look at Mountain Island Lake and uh, this is especially prone to flooding when we get those heavy rains. Meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer breaks down now why some of our lakes can handle more rain than others. We've been out at Mountain Island Lake all week here after days of heavy downpours. We come out here a lot because it floods here a lot. So I spent time on the phone with Duke Energy talking about how they manage this waterway. They walked me through it. So now I want to walk you through it. The Catawba River moves water from the mountains down through South Carolina and Duke Energy with its hydroelectric dams helps control the water flow here. There are 11 lakes created by those dams in the Catawba watery system. It's all connected. So why do we see more floods here in Mountain Island Lake? The answer is the lake's surface area. A full foot of flood water here is only three inches when it moves downstream and spreads across a much larger Lake Wiley. And upstream in Lake Norman, that same amount of water only adds up to just over an inch. A foot of water is more than enough to do what we've seen lately here, docks underwater and families frustrated. So Duke Energy tries to balance the water levels to prevent flooding. Engineers here can actually move 12,000 cubic feet of water per second if they power up all of their generators. If they ran them all at full blast, they could lower Mountain Island Lake by that one foot in just over three hours. But it's a delicate process. You pull from Mountain Island Lake, then places along the river, including here on Riverside Drive, get overwhelmed. The process becomes even more challenging with active weather, which doesn't just add water to the lakes, but the entire water system from all of that runoff. Duke Energy is expecting Mountain Island Lake will continue spilling over until February 17th, and we do have a flood advisory in this area until Saturday morning. At Mountain Island Lake, I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.